Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the 900. So last episode we pulled off a couple of successful missions. We did pretty well. Uh, picked up a couple of mechs. So we've got uh, a Locust and a Commando now, uh, which are now store in storage. We want to start getting enough money so we can get our next mech bay up and running. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to the contracts today. We're going to jump right into a mission. I think what we're going to do is take the Humanitarian's mission here um, for House Liao. And let's go to negotiate. And I don't want to take... I think I'm going to start um, working on getting more cash uh, and less parts. We're only going to be facing light mechs in this, so we're not really going to get a lot of what we need. So I think 2 of 10 is probably just enough salvage. 250,000 is probably the right way to go, so we're going to accept this. And we're going to deploy our standard lance and get this done. Alright, here we go. Jungle map. Four mechs on the ground. Four mechs on the ground and a lot of bad sound. Alright, so... Looks like these guys are under fire. And then we gotta take them to... Where are we taking them to? So we pick them up here. Where are they going? This way, probably. Ah, down to here. Okay, so that makes sense. So we want to come in kind of over this way. So we're ahead of the... We can activate them and then we can move off this way, I think. So, since we can't do that, I'm going to go kind of come up over top of this hill here, I think. So, let's move in to do that. Acknowledged. Move order C. Okay, let's go. And since we got one jump jet, we'll make use of that. Engaging jump jet. There we go. Let's get to a point where we can put down some suppression okay. fire on these guys. Okay, I had a chance to cool off a little bit after jumping. Alright, so let's reserve, see what they're going to be doing here. Jenner D. Should have fired more than that, buddy. Alright, let's get to burrowing. So, let's go with uh, Hellburner first. And it doesn't look like we can get down unless we jump, so we're going to have to do that. So we're going to jump to this guy's flank. Let's get within... Yeah, let's get within good medium laser range here. Just on the extent, which is probably... Roger. Just to stay away from any more enemies that might be over there. Gonna fire everything into this guy's side. Okay, good shooting. Alright, Ripley. Ready for orders. Do the same thing with you. What about here? No, outside range. We need to move into here. So let's do that. Right. And we'll fire everything on this guy. Ooh. Yeah. I think I hit something good. I think he did too. He's not having a good day. Alright, we should be able to finish this hey. up with Starfish. So we're going to jump down. That's perfect medium laser range. Gonna fire both. There we go. Should have fired more than one medium laser, buddy. That's all I'm going to say. Okay. So we're going to sprint down. I'm gonna sprint over here. I want to start getting him ahead. If they've got fast-moving vehicles. I want the Vindicator to be up farther. Okay, we're gonna reserve. Why do I have a feeling that guy is he on his own? I think he's on his own. Um. Go into here. Okay, Panther 9R, nice. We want to get salvage off this guy if we can. Uh, I'm gonna try for a headshot, so why not? 
for an alpha strike. Yeah. Yeah, let's get Hellburner up. Yeah, we'll fire everything. Ooh, do we get the torso? Ah, uh, not quite. Uh, Ripley. Position confirmed. Yeah, we'll just fire everything on this guy. Okay, there goes the PPC. This guy's just gonna die hard here. That hit something good. Okay, 900 foot. Um... What if we get in a little closer here? Better chances? Yeah, there we go. So we're gonna move into there. And fire everything on this guy. Ah, once again. Hitting the wrong side from where I am. So, uh, Starfish is just gonna sit here and fire at this guy. No point in moving. There we go. Okay, so let's start moving up this way. And let's activate the convoy. Where are they? Right there on the road. Okay, cool. We're blocking their way so they shouldn't get too far. Doesn't look like we've got any targets on the way there. So getting up ahead and making sure that we've got uh, the area around it completely secure before they move in. It's our priority. But then again, depending on the map, you you can always get one of those, you know, pilots that it spawns like right next to it. It just comes over the hill and then kills your guys before you have a chance to defend them. Not that I've actually had that happen or anything. Huh. That hero Irby, man. With the Rack 5 auto... or Yeah, it was a Rack 5, I think he had. Came over the hill and destroyed the vehicle basically on one go. It was crazy. That was in my original series. My original Rogue Tech series. That was quite some time ago. A couple months now, I think. But it was fun, and that, fun, fun nonetheless. It was really a surprise to see him do that. And I've had other mechs like commandos and stuff really quickly come up over the hill and fire on my vehicles and had some of them killed that way too. They just spawn out of nowhere, right? So, all right, down our foot. Let's stay on the road if we can. Stay off the side of the road here. I want to get you down. Ugh, oh, where are these guys going to be coming from? Probably this way, most likely. But they could really be anywhere. So let's get... Yeah, let's get off the road here, just in case they move a little farther than I expect. So we're going to set up a firing position here, I think. I'll move the Jenner down here, set up a bit of a firing position, just to see where they come from, because there's lots of space down here for them to come to. So there might be some guys here and some guys here. I haven't played this map before, so I'm not sure yet. We'll just see where they're coming from. I think we probably got one more turn after this one before they uh, activate the the reinforcements. They might make it in the square next turn. We'll see. The first vehicle might make it in. Keep forgetting I can hit spacebar to get these guys to go a little faster. All right, uh, Jesus, let's get up here. And the Panther is going to be pro providing fire support from back here as best it can, I guess. And we will move into. I think we'll move, uh, let's move the Jenner here, something like this, I think. And then let's get the spider in the trees over here, like right here, I think. That probably covers our area, so let's see what they do here. Ooh, not quite. Okay, good, it'll give our panther an opportunity to get in there, get up ahead, I mean. 
So they should technically all make it into the hex next turn, I think. Yeah, we'll see. Um, yeah. We're going to be moving before this guy. The enemies will, that, that is. So I'm going to leave him there, I think. Uh, oh, God. Let's brace those two. Let's sprint into here, probably. On my way. And I'm going to move her back to here, too. I want to stay in the forest, I think. Because if we're just going to be bracing or stopping... Here we go. Oh, my God. You're in position, Commander. Hold your ground until the package is on its way. Well, that's um, a really bad spot for them to land. Okay, it's three in. Come on, get inside there, buddy. Get inside. I want you gone next turn. Okay, cool. So they're all there. Now, I think they go first. Oh, wait. Yeah. They got a hold for one turn. Wow. Okay. Um, since he's not doing anything... Receiving you. We're going to move up like this. Roger. They're not going to be quite in range for a good shot, but... Um, what do we got armor-wise on this guy? I need two hits to take it out. And one hit on this guy. So we're going to fire on the second guy. Okay, that should do it. Yep. We'll get the spider on the first guy. Reporting vehicle destroyed. So I don't know what mech this is back here. That's a locust dam. Oh well. So I think out of this we'll take the panther piece. The the panther piece. The panther piece. <laughs> the panther piece, and uh, we'll take the um, the fire starter piece. I think. Sixty-five here, sixty-five here. Uh, let's go here. I think that fire starter is probably a little more dangerous. We're moving in close to this guy, so we can't use the LRMs on us. So we're gonna fire on the fire starter. Oh, take the leg, take the leg, please. Yes, thank you. So we're gonna see if we can target that other leg. Okay, starfish. Oh, no. oh stop complaining, girl. 85%. Moving to position. Let's take this galleon out of here. Please and thank you. If you say so. That should do it. Oh, that figures. Wow. I'm okay for now. So he's. Oh, look at that. Five. <laughs> yep. Oh, God. Okay, so we're going to move forward. Do this. Target this guy. And. Yeah. 15% for the leg shot. But well, we're going to fire everything on it. Did we get the leg? We hit the leg. I think we did. Nice. Well, that's a pretty easy one skull mission. Still used to rogue tech being insane. So we did hit the leg. All we need is a medium laser hit on that. So the spider's moving next. Yeah. Okay, so let's get the spider. Uh, I'm going to move back here. Let's take a shot on this guy down here. Let's try for that leg. Copy that. Firing alpha oh, come on, man. <sighs> didn't expect that. No, I didn't either. 
I expected you to hit where I asked you to hit. Um, damn. We don't need to cool off. So we're going to do this. Well, he's got pretty chunky armor overall. We could fire everything. Let's take the chance and fire everything. Hopefully we got one leg hit. Looks like that was it. Okay, cool. Target neutralized. Yes, Commander. Let's just step on this guy. Putting my weight into it. Nice little jump up there. Nice little jump up there. One for the scrappy. Sure is. Yeah, let's make sure our medium lasers are in range. Let's move in on this guy. Gonna try and get between them and my other mechs. And fire. All Ooh! Wasn't expecting that! Enemy mech destroyed. Well, there's a successful escort mission. mission. Alright, I think since these missions are kind of getting a little boring, I'm gonna move on to a new planet with some one and a half skull missions. Because this is uh, a little easy, I think. But we did get some good parts here, so we're going to take... I think we'll definitely want the panther part. There's nothing down here we want. I just... I, I was double-checked, but... And we'll grab a fire starter part, I think. I mean, we're closer to the Jenner, though. Let's... Yeah, let's go with the Jenner part. We're closer to, get, to getting a Jenner, I think, so we'll confirm this. And we did get a fire starter part anyway. It's nice. Some laser... or medium laser, a couple missile launchers. Alright, so let's look for a really close one and a half skull planet. planet. And uh, let's go to star map here. We're getting up there, 643,000. If we can get to another planet before our next financial report, 12 days to Kimi. And that's a two skull planet. Uh, Ward has got a black market. 22 days though. Um, what else do we got here? These ones are abandoned though, I think. Yeah. I'm not going to find much there. Um, these guys are... That's... Oh. Brindam is 70, 17 days away. But it's it's a three and a half. Or, there we go. One and a half skull. That's 15 days. Not a lot here, though. Travel hub. Token population. Black market. So let's go there. 15 days. Let's set course. 60,000 to get there. Not too bad. I mean, we have a lot of stuff to sell in the store, too. Getting a good collect collection of missile launchers and medium lasers and machine guns and small lasers and stuff, so... Alright. So the other thing we can do is get the structure repaired. That's only 90,000. Thanks, Bubba. Alright, so, we, I mean, we can get the structure repaired in the ship, too, so we don't have all these big holes. Just get some Bondo, I guess, and put it on there. Alright, one more jump. Looks like our pilots might be back by that time, too. So we're going to check experience when we get there. See if we can get any more skills, which I think we're going to need for sure. And then we'll look for pilots too, I think, at this next planet. We're not going to choose any missions uh, this time. We'll try to do, try to pull two missions off next time. All right, so we got one of our pilots back. Oh, God, we got to force her to lead somewhere else, really. Sorry, girl. Yeah, low spirits. All right, here we go. So let's have a look at the store. We're going to sell a bunch of stuff right away. That's kind of a weird entry. All right, so we got blackjack parts. Nice. Uh, let's sell some stuff here. So let's go to selling. And we're going to sell, sell this AC-5 that we just picked up. Let's sell uh, just one LRM-5, I think. Let's sell two LRM-10s. Let's sell like five of these. 
Um, let's hang on to the close support stuff for now. Let's hold on the SRM-6s, jump jets. Let's just sell nine. And the ammo we want to keep. So let's just leave it like that, I think. And let's have a look at the black market. Large laser, triple plus. Plus 10 damage, plus 3 accuracy. Are you kidding me? How can we not buy that? Um, LRM 15, double plus. Plus 2 damage. This, man. This is great. Plus 3 accuracy. Ah, well. Calm system plus 1. Plus two resolve gain. It's pretty good too. Well, let's grab the large laser. New weapon systems. And let's go to the mech bays real quick. And we're going to swap that out in our Vindicator. Hope we'll be able to get it back. I think we should be able to get it back before the end of the month. So let's refit this guy. Take out the regular large laser. Put this guy in. And it's three days. Okay, cool. And we'll wait the three days, and that will be it for today. We're nearly broke, Commander. Yeah, please stop. I don't know why he says we're nearly broke. We're not nearly broke. Um, okay, so we're going to end it here for today. When we come back next time, we're going to start taking some missions here. It is a one-and-a-half skull planet, so we're hoping to take a bunch of one-and-a-half skull missions here with our lance. We seem to be doing pretty good, and now with that large laser, which is really going to help out, I think. So if you liked the video, please drop a like. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do that. Check out my channel too as well. I've got other series going on, a couple of Rogue Tech series going on, one with the new version of Rogue Tech and one with the past version of Rogue Tech before Flashpoint. My new version is called uh, um, Rogue Point, so you can check that out. And until next time, we'll see you all later.